us help. So if there's one thing that Fortnite and Epic Games do incredibly, it has got to be crossovers. If you had told me two years ago that in this new crazy building battle royale, we were gonna see Thanos, Stormtroopers, and John Wick all together, I would have thought you were crazy. Yet here we stand two years later with 13 of the most insane collaborations we've ever seen in video game history. So what I wanted to do today is rank every Fortnite collab or crossover that we've seen from worst to best. And lastly, before we do get into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for no other reason than it just makes me feel good. So yeah. Let's get into it. All right, so coming in at our number 13 spot, this is probably gonna be the most unknown crossover as it only happened in China. China. And this is actually Minecraft. Yeah, see, if you clicked on this video and you don't know who I am, you're probably like, this is some misleading clickbait, but it's not. No, Fortnite and Minecraft have actually done a small collaboration in China. So it was a Halloween event that wasn't so much as a crossover, but more just a simple collab where there were things you had to do in both games. Now, I don't speak Italian, so I don't really know what that says, but this is a very clear Minecraft Fortnite crossover. In all seriousness, if there is anyone that knows Mandarin and maybe they could explain what this says, that would be super cool. But uh, yeah, there was actually a small Fortnite Minecraft collab. With that said, I'm sure we would all love to see a bigger one sometime in the future, and hopefully that might come. Now, moving on to number 12, we've got one of the first ever crossovers in Fortnite, and that is Wreck-It Ralph. So this was a very subtle crossover that appeared in season four at Risky Reels. Basically what happened is Wreck-It Ralph would occasionally run across the screen, and that was really it. Now, there were also some crossover references in the movie, Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet relating to Fortnite, so it's kind of like a two-way street. For the time, this was actually a pretty significant crossover, but in the grand scheme of things, nothing special. The one cool thing is there was actually the dance Hot Marat, which was associated and somehow obtained through this event, so that's really the only thing other than promotion that came out of this. Now moving on to our number 11 spot, we've got probably another thing you guys may not know about, and this is Fortnite x Jordans. So yeah, the shoe brand has actually done a small crossover with Fortnite. Basically part of it is that we were given skins that are wearing Jordans, and then there was also an LTM based around it. But overall, it's one of those collabs that really just went over the top of my head. Season nine was my most played season, and I was actually unaware of this crossover until I started doing research for this video. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, topping out our number 10 spot, we've got the American football NFL crossover. So for the time, again, I feel like this was a pretty significant crossover, but in the grand scheme of things, nothing crazy. Because really all this crossover was was skins and buying any one skin would give you access to a jersey for every single football team. So this skin was actually a very good deal. I mean, it was literally 32 skins in one and then after the Super Bowl went on to be 34 with the addition of the Super Bowl team jerseys. So as far as a skin goes, a very good deal, but as far as an overall crossover goes, certainly not the best. Now moving on to number nine, one of my favorite more low key collabs or crossovers is the Major Lazer one. I'm definitely a big fan of some of Major Lazer's music. So when I saw that this happened, I was pretty excited. Now, not only did this come with a Major Lazer skin, we also got two sound tracks. So the first was Default Fire, and instead of explain it, I'll just play a few seconds of it. And then the other was Default Fire. Now overall, again, probably one of the more low key events, but I think this one was done really well. I mean, it's just, it's appropriate, you know? We didn't need a, an LTM for Major Laser. We got music and I like that. And on top of that, they were very cool remixes of the default dance. So gotta give them props for that. Now, moving on to our number eight spot, we've got Star Wars. So the most recent crossover we've seen in Fortnite, and actually the reason that this video is a little bit late. Now, Roman suggested we make this video around Batman and I, being stupid, didn't listen to him. <laughs> So I was like, all right, we'll hold off, we'll wait for the next crossover to come until we talk about this, and it was Star Wars. Now with the initial launch of this, we were given a Stormtrooper skin and a ship 
in the distance. And I was like, okay, let's, let's hold off another week, see what happens with this ship, and uh, then we'll do this video once the big thing happens. It, it's been a week and uh, no big thing has happened. <laughs> So because of that, here we are a week late on this video. So I believe this is a crossover for Jedi Fallen Order, but overall, I gotta say it's a little bit underwhelming. I thought it would've been cool if maybe the ship came to the island or maybe you could like land on top of it and it would be like a location very low to the ground, but it's just kind of a decoration piece. The Stormtrooper skin is very cool and very iconic and a reason and excuse for me to be terrible at shooting, but it's just, not enough. I mean, these next six crossovers we're going to look at were absolutely incredible. And to be Star Wars and come in with this, it was a little bit disappointing. But actually moving on to our number seven spot, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Stranger Things. So one of the more unexpected crossovers we've seen in recent Fortnite collabs, this has got to be one of the most exciting or pleasantly surprising, you could say. So this came with two skins. One was Hopper, the cop, but the other one was the Demogorgon. Now, whether you watch Stranger Things or not, you got to admit that this skin is really freaking cool. I mean, come on, dude. Like, it might honestly be one of the coolest crossover skins we've seen. But then on top of that, there was more to this collaboration. There was a Scoops Ahoy building in Mega Mall. And on top of that, portals started popping up all around Mega Mall that would actually take you to different locations. It was a perfect collaboration. And while still not the best, I think was exactly what we wanted and deserved for Stranger Things. Now, moving on to number six, this is going to be Borderlands. So two things that came with the Borderlands Pandora crossover is a new skin as well as a new location. But the main thing about about this Borderlands crossover that really impressed me was the change in art style as soon as you enter the new location. That to me was just such a nice touch. To see Fortnite in Borderland styled art was just incredible. It was an absolutely spectacular touch for this crossover and really made it something special. And on top of that, it's so cool because this was a video game collaborating with another video game. Usually competition gets in the way of that stuff and it was really cool to see this happen. But anyways, topping out our number five spot, this is going to be the Marshmallow event. Or should I say Marshmallow crossover? The big thing that makes this so special is the event. So Marshmallow has been a pretty big icon of Fortnite. He's played games with Ninja, and on top of that, they decided to make him a character in the game. Not only did he have his own skin, there's some dances as well as a pickaxe. But the thing that really launches this up into the top five is without a doubt, the concert. As I'm sure a lot of you guys know, there was a live concert for this event. Marshmallow actually performed in Fortnite. And honestly, I'd be very understanding if a lot of you guys would personally rank this one, maybe even higher. I wasn't there to witness it live myself, so I might be missing a little bit of nostalgia or just appreciation for it. But even so, I really have to appreciate this for just what it was. Now, moving on to number four, we've got Avengers Endgame. So the Avengers Endgame came with two new skins. We had Black Widow and Star-Lord, as well as some gliders, a couple other peripheral stuff. But obviously the big thing with this crossover was the game mode, the Avengers Endgame mode. Obviously, we've talked about this a lot. You could either battle as Thanos and the Chitori or pick up Avengers weapons, the shield, the Iron Man blasters, Thor's hammer, uh, or sorry, I mean Thor's axe and Hawkeye's bow. This is probably one of the best LTMs we've ever seen. And while it was very special, I think there are three that were better. Like our number three spot, the John Wick crossover. So I think the thing that really catapults the John Wick collab into the top three is just how much content we were given. So on top of a new John Wick skin and a few other things, we were also given a very cool LTM. Was it as good as the Avengers Endgame LTM? That's up for debate, but it doesn't end there. Not only were we given some new skins and the Wick's Bounty LTM, we also saw some new locations pop up. John Wick's house was in Fortnite and the Continental Hotel popped up in Neo Hilton. To me, this was just so much content for a crossover and that's what makes it special. It was just a very full collab, and I think for that reason, it deserves a lot of credit. Now, coming in at our number two spot, this is going to be the Gotham crossover. So as far as content goes, you can really look no further than the Fortnite x Batman collab. Okay, we were given a Batman skin. That's just incredible right there. 
And although we weren't given a new LTM, we were given something better than that, debatably a new location, and that was Gotham. On top of that, you had the Batarang weapon, the most insane grappler Fortnite has ever seen. It was just a very full and packed content update. And I really feel like this update stuck with the game and was a defining feature of season 10. So overall, I think the Batman update deserves a lot of credit. But ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our number one spot, it could be none other than the Infinity War LTM. The thing that makes the original Thanos mode so special is just how groundbreaking it was. Was the game mode any better than the end game one? Not really, and that was pretty much all it brought. Despite that though, I still think it deserves the number one spot. It was so monumental to see Thanos in Fortnite. It was weird and it was groundbreaking. And I really feel like nothing has made as many waves and just really shook everything up as much as this crossover. It honestly might be the most monumental crossover of any video game ever. I didn't say that, but it's just an idea that is floating around. Actually, I did say that. I'm not sure if I agree with it. Anyways, that is our list. So thank you guys so much for making it all the way through on this one. Um, we're gonna wrap things up right there. So again, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. If you already subscribed, leave a like. That's it. Go watch another video if you want, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out, you freaking